Hello, I'm Sophia Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's original art video. This month I'll be doing a piece I like to call the heart of the forest. Um, it was really difficult for me to come up with something for this week, um, this month's sort of like original video. I didn't want to do mushroom hunters, I was running out of time, I wanted to do something with Murray and Prickles but nothing was coming to mind and I think it's because I was really, really happy with my Zodiac piece that I did for my YouTube Artist Collective and I was worried that nothing I was going to do was going to be as good as that piece. And then I had to kind of tell myself to get myself out of that mindset and literally I had to record this yesterday. I was running out of time and I just didn't know what to do at all. So. As most of you will know who are regulars to my channel, I really do love doing fantasy based pieces and the whole idea with this piece is that it is truly, she is the forest, she is the almost like mother nature, she helps the forest grow, she brings on the seasons, she brings on the tides and she is the forest, she is the protector. Um, and I have this sort of like idea that she, um, her like gl glowing piece in her chest is like the soul of the forest, so to speak. It's a bit of a weird imagination, but I really do enjoy pieces that are a little bit out of the norm and sometimes have little meanings to them. If you're asking what equipment I'm using here, I am using the Mixed Media Paper by Cass Arts, my Electroset Pro Markers. The pen I'm using is a Unipin Fineliner and I'm using my WH Smith pencils and later I use the Fintech as well as the Uniball Signo White Gel Pen. If you are interested and you didn't hear any of the equipment I've listed, please check out the list down below and let me know like what equipment you use, loving using the most. I really do love Pro Markers and I decided to make this a mainly focused um, Pro Markers piece. My original idea, I was going to do Marie and Prickles um, with Prickles sat in Marie's lap while she was reading the book and as I was painting it, unfortunately um, the paper I was using wasn't good enough and um, masking fluid actually ripped the paper and I was so angry and so frustrated I completely started again with a new piece. It, like I said, I was just feeling really down about what I could do just because I didn't I knew nothing could top what I did for the zodiac piece and I didn't want anyone to think ah oh, she does massively detailed pieces all the time because there sometimes is no physical time to do it I work part-time so it's sometimes very difficult to find time to draw to illustrate and I, yes I do draw every single day but not every piece is fantastic not every piece is overly detailed I just do what I enjoy and enjoy what I love and that's drawing. When I'm illustrating I sometimes like to find meanings behind the piece and I don't like a drawing just to be there for the sake of drawing, I like it to have meaning and which is why when I do my illustrations I have little stories behind them and I do have people ask like why do you make a story behind every single piece and it's just, it just makes my life easier if I know that the piece has a meaning, it has design, it has something to it that means something, it's not just there for the sake of being there. Oh, I also use some watercolours on top of this um, just to get some more texture that I couldn't quite achieve with the markers. Um, I was able to um, put texture on top of the uh, markers because the markers are alcohol based. Um, you can actually, after the markers have dried, build up on top with watercolours to build up some texture and it's one of my favourite techniques to be able to do because sometimes I can't get quite the texture that I want with markers so it's one of the reasons why I really do love mixed media pieces Yeah, I'm able to explore different techniques and different textures With this piece, it was sort of like an art event piece it was just for me to be able to um, do something mindless and be happy with it 
Uh, there are improvements I would like to do. Um, there is stuff that I would improve. Uh, I really like how she's central in the piece, um, but what I don't like is I feel like there should have been more detail to the background area and to the bottom area, um, and her dress should have had more texture. But the problem was, in all honesty, I was running out of time. And this, it happens. Sometimes you don't have the time to put as much effort as you want into a piece, um, just because, unfortunately, life does get in the way. I was up till around about two o'clock in the morning trying to finish this piece and editing this now as I speak um, to try and get it up in time for this week's video and you do struggle sometimes and it is hard to stick to a schedule and I've just been so down about my art after um, coming off the highs of doing the Zodiac piece that I just felt like it wasn't good enough. I felt like nothing I was doing was good enough. But to snap out of that funk, I've got to get over it. Uh, you just, no one's going to do my work for me except me. And that is the attitude I've got to have. No one's going to do my work. I have to do my work, whether or not. And not everything I'm going to do, I'm going to be happy with. But by giving up, it's just, it's kind of counterproductive. You're not going to achieve anything by not doing. And I, I really hope that you guys kind of, uh, understand that I, I know that everyone has this thing called art block and everyone goes through it and I just I have this sort of attitude where it's like yes not everything I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be proud of and that's okay I'm okay with that I just know that I need to accept sometimes that I'm gonna struggle so I hope you guys have enjoyed this piece, um, I'll probably be doing a Mushroom Hunters or a Marine Prickles piece next month, let me know which one you prefer. Um, I'm quite excited to do either, so either or would be, make me quite happy. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, um, if you guys would like prints of this piece please let me know because now I have a printer I can do pretty much anything, it's quite nice to be able to do that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to um, next week is fan art week and we'll be doing another masquerade piece so stay tuned for that hope you guys have enjoyed this video and as always stay creative